Hey guys, Rick here. Uh, gonna have a little real talk with you today. Um, I have avoided uh, ever doing a video like this, like the plague uh, for the entire run of the show, uh, because we like to keep things wacky and zany and kooky here. And uh, what's, what's the saying, you know, Stay out of the kitchen. You don't want to see how the meat's prepared. You just want to enjoy the sandwich or, or whatever it is. I, I need to bone up on my idioms, clearly. Um, but, uh, yeah, if, if, if you don't want the magic spoiled, uh, this video probably is not for you. Uh, go watch the metal cover of Rainbow Bright or Rock Me Hot Potatoes or Fallout 4 Let's Riff. Uh, this, this, this may not be for you. And this video is especially for you if you are uh, one of our patrons. Um, you know, Joey Hollywood just did this uh, video about all the controversy with Spoonie and his Patreon. And I was like, we don't want any of that going on here. I want to be completely transparent with you guys. Well, I've been actually trying to find the time to make this video for months now. Uh, but what really got me off my ass to do it was I was, uh, in Office Depot, <laughs> of all places to have an epiphany, uh, was in Office Depot recently, and we, uh, we had a couple orders come in for, uh, a very rare product that, uh, is, is not easily got, uh, but we do, we do make them available upon special request, and, uh, but we have to use this <laughs> rickety old printer, that is as old as the show is uh, to print these things off. And as per usual, it was out of ink. It was completely out of black. It was almost out of light magenta. It was completely out of uh, cyan. And if you work in an office with one of these things, you probably know the ink cartridges for these things are extremely expensive. Uh, now, usually I would have to scrape together whatever money I can and go down to Office Depot and get the one ink cartridge that will make the printer happy and it'll poop out this terrible looking DVD. <laughs> um, but this time when I was there, I was like, you know what, man? It's it's not a big deal to just get all three cartridges. It's, it's okay. It's In fact, I don't even need to check my account. It's fine. Just get them all. Uh, and, you know, a few weeks before that, I was at the grocery store, you know, buying groceries. And it was like, I don't even need to check my account balance. I know I can afford these groceries. I don't have to put it on a credit card. And that is what I have been doing for the entire run of the show is putting everything for the show and everything for my, my personal life on credit cards. And... I have racked up a uh, horrific <laughs> uh, amount of debt doing that. I've 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 just been, you know, tunnel vision. Like just just get get this DVD done, and we'll 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 see what happens. Just get this video up, and we'll see what happens. You know, charge charge charge, swipe swipe swipe, and it's been the only way that that, that this works. Um, to be able to go buy what I need, and to be able to go buy what the show needs is with without worrying is you guys have completely changed my life with this you have completely changed the show's life with this and i know uh we've we've said thanks in text i i know i've said thanks on camera once or twice but no you guys need to know what a difference it is you you're making we were completely defeated uh before <laughs> we decided to get on patreon we were i think halfway or so through Resident Evil, and it was like, dude, these views are just not worth it. Uh, let's let's finish what we started. Let's get through Resident Evil Remastered, and no more YouTube videos. We'll post clips from 205 or 206, the DVD series. We'll do maybe an update or two here and there, and then that's probably it for Incognito Cinema Warriors XP. Uh, well, let's try Patreon. We've heard of that. Uh, it seems to work out for some friends of ours. Meh. Wow, I, I wish Patreon existed in 2008. <laughs> you know, um, it's no secret that the views that this channel gets are... Uh, <laughs> wow, I, I can't even... They're, they're more than a little discouraging. <laughs> you guys have said that doesn't matter. You get to keep making them anyway. 
I don't know what it is. I don't know if people see the shadows, they see the puppets, and they don't even bother to listen to the riff, and you're just, oh, MST3K, rip off. See ya. Uh, and you know what? I understand that. Uh, I, I Who's to say I wouldn't have the same response if I wasn't personally connected to it? Thankfully, enough of you have looked past that and have recognized that we at least try and try and try to make this uh, show its own animal and it is not just an mst3k clone and you know we if we were still some early 20 somethings with not many responsibilities we could just keep making them and not care just for fun but we're not some 20 somethings anymore most of us are 30 somethings are about to be 30 somethings and the concrete unyielding walls of adult life and adult responsibilities keep like crushing down on us we are about to be jill sandwiches all um but because you guys have stepped forward and made this change for us we're gonna hang in there for a lot longer than we thought we could and I, I struggle to find the words to properly thank you guys. And I, we are working on some new prizes to throw at you guys. Um, we're going to start including uh, Sugar Ray Dodge's Mystery Science Storybook as a prize. Uh, and we're working on uh, cumulative prizes that, you know, once you have donated this much, you get this rare thing. Really made a huge difference in my life. This, this show has... And this is a big reason why I, I I never wanted to do a video like this because it does suck some of the fun and magic out of things. But doing this show is rough. Uh, we obviously are independent. There is no production company other than me and the Agony Wolf Media label we slap on things. The show absolutely does not happen without the awesome people who drive out into the middle of nowhere and hold boom mics and camera operate and 800 other insane weird things they have to do to help out. But pre and post production does fall all on me. I, I don't get much sleep. It, it is brutal. I have lost friendships because of what I do. I have lost relationships because of what I've chosen to do. Uh, it's not easy, and, and, and just just getting the let's riffs up is brutal. Um, there is no producing this this kind of show and having a nine to five. Uh, I've tried it, and I have literally almost killed myself. <laughs> I, I I when we in the early days, I was holding down a nine to five. It was an hour commute there, an hour commute back. And all night long was ICW XP. And it culminated in me dozing off in morning rush hour and rear-ending a guy. And luckily, no one was hurt. Luckily for him, he was driving a Bronco with a trailer hitch. Uh, didn't he, he drove off without a scratch on his vehicle. Mine was completely totaled. And at that point, I was like, okay... I can either continue with the soul-sucking 9-to-5 job or I can really, you know, put everything into this goofy puppet show. Uh, I can't do both. I've been doing freelance graphic design work ever since I left that place. Uh, my clientele was has almost always been, uh, you know, raggedy metal bands, uh, a lot of whom would just not pay me or you know uh say oh can i give you half and then i never see the other half you guys are not just taking care of this show you're taking care of me to, to make this stuff happen i mean you gotta have some serious cash flow and it's all a catch-22 because if you go get the job to have the money to do it there's no time to do this there just isn't there's no there's no debating it <laughs> This is a full-time gig. Uh, you know, and to make matters worse, I am up to my nostrils in student loans uh, because, uh, you know, back in what was it, 2004, 2005, I, I had never heard of what a diploma mill was. I'm not proud to say uh, that my, I had the lack of wherewithal to know what that is, but I, I, I went to a, a scam college called the Art Institutes 
And I highly recommend them if you want to go pay $60,000 to learn things that you could look up for free on the internet. They're great for that. Um, whether you got what you paid for from the college or not, you still owe those loans. There's no refunds on uh, fraudulent college education, but that's a whole other video. So that's on top. The, the credit card debt's on top. I have never had this in my life, uh, not having to worry so much. Um, it's it's still rough. I still have very little cash at the end of the month, but I, I'm, I don't care about that. I don't have to drive uh, an hour to work anymore, and I don't have to put up with some asshole boss anymore. I, I, I'm the asshole boss. <laughs> Thank you for that gift. And to those of you who do go do that for your families, you guys are heroes. You're badasses. When we get messages from people saying like, you, when I get off work, I put you guys on, I drive home, and I, I feel better. To know that we can help you through your day is, uh, it's, it's just so badass to hear that, man. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm failing to find the words to tell you. Uh, I'm sorry, but it's, it's sobering when we hear that. And it's like, oh, well. <laughs> Maybe this, maybe there's more to this than it's just, you know, some jackasses derping over, over whatever it happens to be. Maybe there is, you know, uh, a bigger use for this. I don't care about having a flashy car. I don't care about having a lavish house. I don't care about having fancy clothes, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> um, uh, if I can just do this and pay my bills with it, my dream has come true. And you guys are getting me very close to that. And I, I wanna make that happen for all of my friends who have been selflessly helping this thing exist. Very lofty goal that, <laughs> um, but crazier things have happened. And uh, I, 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 wanna, I wanna pay it forward to them. Uh, this is not a pitch for you to up your pledge. Uh, is this, this is just a thank you and for helping us step in that direction and lifting us up. Um, we may not have a million subscribers, but the subscribers that we do have, and let's not just limit this to YouTube, the fans that we do have are worth hundreds, if not thousands of those casual whatever uh, subscribers that bigger YouTubers have. The fan art, the the Gary's Mod project that Sprite Noob is working on, the petitions uh, to certain distribution companies. Uh, it's just, it's overwhelming, guys, uh, to see that stuff. So now that you guys know a little bit more about how the ICWXP and IGWXP sausage gets made, uh, I, I hope it's brought uh, a little bit more... Uh, clarity uh, and understanding as to just how incredibly helpful what you do uh, on Patreon is. Uh, yeah, it's amazing, guys. It's amazing. Thank you. I, I hope all of you have the most amazing Thanksgiving. Just know how thankful that I am and how thankful everyone in the cast and crew is for you guys. And uh, yeah, have a great holiday. Happy Thanks Riffing, everybody.